Welcome to Bellomag.com, Alexander Ludwig. Hello. How you doing? Good. Now, your, your shoot today had a bit of a sporty feel to it. Yeah. Um, I know that's something you're into, isn't it? Like extreme sports, outdoors, that kind of thing. Complete opposite to me, by the way. <laughs> Hopeless at all of that. <laughs> I'm sure you would love it. It's, it's a great adrenaline rush. Yeah, I, I grew up my whole life uh, skiing in Whistler Mountain about a, an hour away. So I grew up freestyle skiing and I just, uh, I've always loved that, that yeah. rush. Yeah. Um, I know you've always pretty much wanted to be an actor. Um, is it true when you were nine years old, you took your mother's cell mobile phone and, and called her agent? Is yeah, right? I did. My mom used to be an actress. When I was nine, I, uh, I stole her phone and, and called her agent and uh, asked for a meeting. And she was like, who's this uh, little girl um, asking for a meeting? <laughs> I was like, I'm not a little girl. I just have a very high voice at nine years old. Um, and yeah, I just started in commercials and worked my way up. Yeah, I mean, it obviously totally paid off. You ended up in The Hunger Games, which is not too bad, is it? Nah, it's, it's a little small little... <laughs> a small little movie we might have heard of. And the big thing at the moment, of course, is Viking Season 3. Yeah. Um, you joined um, last season, but this one sounds, to me, from what I know of it, um, even more exciting. Um, the show's going to Paris, is that right? Yeah, unbelievable. Um, it's crazy. It's, it's unbelievable where the Vikings actually went, and I've learned so much as an actor, but also just academically, yeah. uh, from just learning so much about being on a show that's based off of historical events. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we go to Paris, and there's a lot of exciting things for the fans to, uh, to look out for. And I've just been so blessed and pleased with how, how well we've uh, been received by everyone. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's the first sort of big major drama that's, that's done incredibly well for History um, Channel, which it's amazing the way it's just kind of blown up. It's, it's crazy. And... Um, I got to say, it's been the most creatively fulfilling experience I've ever had. Right. I'm working with such incredible actors, and I'm just learning every day. It's very raw, isn't it? You know, when you're in yeah. those fight scenes, um, and I love the fact, you know, the women are very strong yeah. um, as well, but it's pretty violent. Um, do, you, do, you, do you have any people that stand in for you, like stunt doubles, or is it all you? Or No, it's, it's really, it really is all us, but, but I don't want to take away some of the stunts that the, the stunt guys do are just exceptional. I mean especially when we were in Paris, I mean, these guys would light themselves on fire and throw themselves off a 30-foot wall. It's just unbelievable. And, yeah. they, and they get up and love it. And they're yeah. like, let's go for a beer after. <laughs> it's crazy. It's mad um, life, isn't it? But Michael Hurst is, is an amazing writer, and he does love writing strong women characters, and I love that too. And yeah. what's so interesting is back in the Viking days, they were already such a progressive culture because they respected their women. And yeah. women had a say. And yeah. And they were very, very much ahead of their time. So it's really cool being able to portray that. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite interested to see where your character is going to go next. Ragnar now is king. Yeah. So, you know, and his kids are his, his main thing, aren't they? You yeah. know, he absolutely loves his children. Um, is that going to affect your relationship in the show? Or I don't know how much you can tell us at this point. No, if anything, I'll say that um, season three, season two was about, you know, Bjorn, my character, growing up and, and learning to become a man. And season three is this camaraderie between him and his father. And he realizes yeah. that he has a lot to learn and he's excited because sooner rather than later, he's gonna have to take over. Yeah. Um, so it's a very, very exciting uh, season, just selfishly from my standpoint, but also for the show, it's it's pretty incredible. Yeah, I won't push you too much on stuff that's coming up because I know you can't really say, but but with um, Thorin, um, is, there, is there more love there or has she got a freedom and she's just gonna run off with another guy now or what? There's an incredible dynamic oh, really? as, a, as an actor. For both of us being able to play the scenes we that Michael wrote for us, it was pretty incredible. Um, our family grows, and uh, yeah. and it gets and you know we make a few mistakes that have some drastic consequences, but it's a very very exciting um, relationship to see how it all yeah. pans out. Looking forward to yeah. it. Um, I know you love singing as well, and music. Is yeah. that something that's more of a hobby or something you'd like to move into? Or always always have wanted to. You know, it's one of those dreams that. I, I've always had, and I will like, to, and I would like to one day. But right now, I think to be great at something, you need to focus at one thing at a time. So I'm not actively pursuing that. Mm -hmm. It's more of a, a hobby for me. But I, I absolutely love it, and and I just need it for my own mental sanity. Just be, I love playing my guitar <laughs> and just relaxing. Different. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, and you got a movie coming up, of course, as well. The Final Girls. It's a yeah. horror comedy. Um, tell us about that. It's so funny. Like that's really, I guess, the only way that they can market it because there really isn't a word to describe it. I read the script and was just blown away by how original it was, which is why I loved it. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, if this, you know, it's one of those scripts that could either the movie could be horrible or it could be one of the coolest things anybody's ever seen. Yeah. Um, and I really think we pulled it off, and I'm really excited to see it mm -hmm. um, because it is. Uh, it's a, the craziest concept, but a great cast, and it's really, really exciting. And something very different, I guess, to what you're doing in Vikings most of the year. Totally, exactly. And I always like to just do, you know, be diverse and do different stuff. Yeah. Um, with great, 
you know, with people who are better than me. Talking so. of different stuff, we're going to uh, we're going to hit you with some Bellow Mag icebreakers before you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quick fire questions. If yeah. something springs to mind, if not, let's pass and move on. Um, <laughs> Would you say you're spring, summer, fall, or winter? And if so, let us know which one you are and why. Winter, because it's Christmas time. I get to see my family, my friends. We all go to Whistler Mountain and go skiing, and uh, it's New Year's too, so it's fun. Yeah. Um, crunchy peanut butter or smooth? Random crunchy, question. Crunchy, hands down. Yeah, excellent. Um, is the glass half empty or half full? And if so, um, what's in the glass? Half full. Um, what's in the glass? Yeah. What's your tipple, maybe even, or what? What are you? A strawberry banana smoothie. Oh, clean living. I love it. Okay, and finally, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Twitter, because that's the most people I think I can reach, and it's nice. It's really fun being able to con uh, you know connect with your everybody who's watching you know your career. It's really it's unbelievable that with the touch of a button you can reach that many people. Excellent. Well, listen. Good luck with the movie. Good luck with the new season of Vikings. Really looking forward to seeing that. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so Cheers. much, man. I appreciate thank you. it. Yeah. Thank you.